Hey guys, Glenn Singleton, and we're here in South Dakota. We're just now coming out of the Custer State Park, just out of Custer, uh, South Dakota. And uh, I'm hitting 16 North, uh, going up the Iron Mountain Road to Mount Rushmore. It's a uh, Friday afternoon, about uh, 154, almost 2 p.m. And uh, I just wanted to make this video to share this with you guys so you all can ride along with me and see the beautiful sights of the Iron Mountain Road. And uh, this is the road, the scenic route that takes you up to Mount Rushmore. And there's several tunnels that you pass through. And you can see through one of the tunnels, uh, if not both of them, the, I believe that you can actually see Mount Rushmore uh, through the actual tunnel. And so it kind of makes a picture of the Mount Rushmore, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's also uh, several, uh, like these spiral, like expansion, like uh, bridges that go down in a spiral that uh, get you from one level to the next. And I think that's pretty cool. So um, I passed up the sign back there. Something happened. I didn't get to record the very beginning of it, but it really, you're really not missing much. And uh, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get started. Put it in low. And we'll start off in second gear. And here we go. Headed to Mount Rushmore on the Iron Mountain, uh, Iron Mountain Road. Just like my brothers. Gee. Hey, bro, what are you doing up here? <laughs> Just kidding. It did look like his Jeep and uh, same year model, same color, I believe. He'll get a kick out of that one. And this, the, the, all the roads I've taken here in the Black Hills area. In South Dakota have just been absolutely gorgeous. It's just, it's so breathtaking. It's, it's amazing. What a great land we live in. And I can't wait to get to Mount Rushmore. It's going to be uh, amazing. Um, it's just going to instill in me and it's going to um, strengthen my patriotism that I already have from me serving in United States Army and serving my country and uh, <clears throat> to see the beautiful land that we've been all doing our part to defend and take care of and all the stuff that we do to preserve our land and, and everything. It's just a great and wondrous thing to be able to experience and you just got to get out there and you got to experience and you got to go explore. It's just, there's nothing like it. The Black Hills of South Dakota are, and I tell you what, it's it's where it's at, man. It's they, they got a lot of stuff to do, to do up here. And um, I took the time and I wanted to get a fishing license. They got some really great fishing up here too. Um, so they've got Sylvan Lake. They've got Bismarck. They've got um, several different lakes throughout the state park and the surrounding area. Part of it's state park. There's parts that are national forest. And uh, it's just amazing. It really is. And there's actually some folks on some horseback there enjoying their day. Lots of stuff to do out here, man. Lots of stuff. Very enjoyable, very, very relaxing, great camping, great weather. Um, we've had a few caught days this last week. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? We got a couple signs to the left here. Beaven Custer State Park. There we go. And then we're entering the Norbic Wildlife Reserve National Forest. There we go. Pretty interesting. And uh, I'm pretty sure they got the cattle guard there for the buffalo. Or 
American bison, from what I learned. And we're starting to see some uh, rock formations over to the left over here. Huge mountains here. And South Dakota has the largest or highest peak east of the Rockies all the way to Europe. And uh, I believe it's almost 7,000 or just a little over 7,000 feet in elevation. Hardy Peak, uh, recently renamed to Black Elk Peak. For circumstances I just don't understand. But yeah, here we are on the Iron Mountain Road, headed to Mount Rushmore. How more American can that get than right there? Lots of horseback riders. Yes, today is a very exciting day for me. Very patriotic. Spokane Creek Cabins and Campground. Neat. We've got a little gas station there, a little grocery store. Mile marker 46. Camp Cafe now open. Welcome bikers, dollar fifty beers. I know lots of parking there. I guess they were doing that for Sturgis, which was just last week. Just missed it. Buffalo Rock Lodge and B&B &B and Cabins. Bed and breakfast, I'm sure. Keystone 7 via County Road. Mount Rushmore, 13 miles. No winter maintenance, next seven miles. In the wintertime, it snows so much and it gets so bad up here, they just shut the whole road down. There's nothing they can do about it. It's just too narrow and too sharp curves and... I've learned a lot about this area, but there's so much more to learn. There's so much more to do. You could spend months here and still not see everything. Oh, wow. That's a great view right there, guys. Wow. Amazing. I guess another seven, eight miles to this uh, mountain range and we'll be seeing Mount Rushmore soon.
Let's see what this little sign says over here. Oh yeah, discover the Black Hills National Forest. It's just telling you everything that they have going on here and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't see Mount Rushmore yet, but I'm sure we will soon. Hey, there's some folks from Arkansas. I got family there. Oh yeah, there is Mount Rushmore right there. Wow. Okay. I can already see Mount Rushmore, guys. I should probably stop and take a picture, so I'm gonna pause the video. Here, I'm gonna pull up so you guys can see it from my vantage point here in my car. But if you look straight ahead on the edge of that limb right there on that pine tree, right there, that's Mount Rushmore right there, guys. And I can barely make out George on the left right there. Everything else kind of has a, a little bit of a shadow to it. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's do this. Got some great pictures. Let's see if I can back out of here. I'm coming, Mr. President. I'm coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is amazing. I don't know what other American thing that I could do. This is great, man. This is this is awesome. I'm so excited right now. America. So beautiful. Such a nice day. It's 73 degrees. The storms pushed out all the smoke last night. Well, pretty much all of it. At least 90% of it. It's just a wonderful day. Uh, clean, fresh air from the storm. It's just so beautiful and so nice. What a great day. Mail, I'm so glad you talked me into coming up here. This was such a great idea. Thanks, buddy. picnic area back that way. Okay. Good to know. Car's doing pretty good right now. Don't know how steep this is going to get, but if we need to take a break, I'll just pull over and let the car rest for a little bit. 
there was one day on the Needles Highway that I did a couple days ago that it did get a little heated, but it was a very hot day that day. It was almost 100, like 97 or something like that. But it went from normal 210 degrees that I usually see on my car to about 230. So it got just a little bit overheated. Nothing broke, nothing got overstressed too bad. So we were okay. So cross on my fingers and we'll see what happens here. I still wonder how those folks in the minivan did. A family of, I think it was two adults and three kids. It was a, a five of them, family of five. And uh, unfortunately, they had a run over on their radiator. And I hope they did okay. I'm sure they did. There's a lot of folks coming through there. I just can't tell you how gorgeous this is. And the video, the, the photos, it just doesn't do it justice. You gotta hear, come here and do it and experience it yourself. I wanna do more hiking and I will do more hiking. I've just been building my strength up. I've been through several injuries. I've had problems with both knees. I've recently had new surgery done on my right knee. And this year, or this last year, 2019, I had surgery on my Achilles, and I've been healing from that as well. Um, I had a burst Achilles tendon, and uh, so they had to redo uh, reconstruction surgery back there and fix that. So slowly but surely, I've been building my strength back up again and trying to lose some of the weight that I have gained from all the time that I was recovering from, and slowly but surely, I'm doing it, and... Uh, I can't wait to get out there and do some of the long tracks. Uh, I've been doing the most three and a half miles, I guess. It's the longest I've done so far. And I like to work my way up to about five or six miles and then eventually to 10 miles. And then be like some of the other guys are like doing 30 miles a day. I'm hoping. But it is what it is, and it's, it's taking it day by day. At least I can get in my car and I can come and uh, enjoy a beautiful scenic drive like I'm doing right now on Iron Mountain Highway headed to Mount Rushmore. See the temp coming up on the uh, getting pretty steep, and we're a little bit over 210 right now. So I turned the AC off, put it in third gear, and got the windows rolled down a little bit. So you might hear some wind noise. I do apologize. Such a wooded area here. Here we go, guys. Looks like we got our first tunnel. Scoville Johnson Tunnel. All right, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to take a couple pictures real quick. Okay guys, here we go. Scoville Johnson Tunnel. As we go through, you'll be able to see Mount Rushmore. We should focus. Focus. As you come through the tunnel. There it is. 
Mount Rushmore, folks. is so steep. I mean, what are the chances of them building this road? And as you're coming through it, you can see Mount Rushmore like you're looking at a picture. That's absolutely mind boggling, but amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so great. Makes you wonder if they planned that all out. Wow. The view to my left is absolutely breathtaking. Oh my gosh. Scenic overlook, 500 feet. Okay, yeah, we're definitely stopping. This is really cool. And there's something a monument up here too. Okay, no parking here. What do they mean by scenic overlook? Oh, okay. Peter Norbick. Okay. All right. Norbick Overlook, Black Hills National Forest. All right, guys. We're going to take another quick stop here. I'm going to take some pictures and I will come right back and we'll get this journey started again. Okay, guys. We're back. What a gorgeous day to go see Mount Rushmore. And that overlook, scenic overlook, was amazing. Got some great photos and ready to head down and arrive at Mount Rushmore. I can see the Badlands from here. That's absolutely crazy. Oh wow. Such a clear day I can. I can see the Badlands from here. That's amazing. When I was on Mount Coolidge the other day, and that was just a little over six thousand feet, it was just it was just too hazy. It was too much smoke in the area. You couldn't see it.
So we've ever we've been able to see several views of Mount Rushmore now, and um, I could see the Needles Point, the spires from the Needles Highway, and I could see Hardy Peak. Entered Pennington County, so we just left Custer County. Black Hills National Forest Picnic Grounds, Iron Mountain. I wonder. I need to go use the restroom. Yes. All right, guys. We're gonna pause this at no time. Be right back. Okay, folks, we got business taken care of, and we can go ahead and head down. Oh, wow, single lane. That's crazy. I guess you just hope you went the right way. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is crazy. I've never seen a road that splits like that and then just becomes one single lane. Well, going one direction because now I, I can I can see the other side. I can see people coming up on the other side over here. So they just for some reason split the road right here. Wow. It was just too dangerous in this area to have the roads together or passing cars, but it looks like it's coming back together now. Wow, very interesting. So apparently the bridges we're gonna be going down are called pigtails or something like that. Um, they kind of spiral down, which I find very, very interesting. I've never been on anything remotely like that so this would be interesting wow look at the grade on this thing oh my god okay I'm putting that thing in burst I don't want to ride the brakes all the way down this sucker you wouldn't have any brakes left or you'd have hot brakes and you know what? Hot, get the hot brakes. That's not a good thing. Wow. Look at the rock band formations. Gorgeous. Seventy-three degrees. So comfortable. Oh my gosh. I hope it's like that when we get down to Mount Rushmore. I sure hope I, sure hope I went the right way too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got another tunnel. One lane tunnel. Low, narrow tunnel. Width is 11 foot, 6 inches, and height is 10 foot, 9 inches. CC Gideon Tunnel. Squeeze it in, hold your breath, tuck it in. Oof. Wow, 
That's pretty cool. Nice. This is such an interesting road. I love Needles Highway, and now I love Iron Mountain Road. This is, oh wow, look at this bridge that I just went across. That's pretty cool. So you go through a tunnel, and then you come out and go across the bridge. It's on like these railroad tie, like poles. And they're huge though. More like big, huge telephone poles. Oh, the road's splitting again. Do not enter that way. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Single lane. What would you do if you messed somebody up? They went the wrong way. Oh, my God. God, it's so peaceful through here. This is gorgeous. I just know what brakes are. He, he was up my boat. Here comes another one. God, it comes. People just going too fast down this thing. I don't understand it. You, you think you would want to go through here and just meander through here in like 15, 20 miles an hour. Enjoy yourself. No, I've got these yahoos that are <laughs> just zipping past me going like, I don't know, 45, 50 or something. Especially the motorcycles. I just don't get it. I know I can understand going uphill. You, you got to keep that thing upright. So you got to you gotta have some speed for inertia or whatever. But these cars are ridiculous, man. Wow. Pretty neat. Pretty neat road. Really enjoying this. We got another tunnel. Low narrow tunnel, width 12 foot, zero inches, height is 11 foot, four inches. Duane Robinson Tunnel. Oh, wow. That's the one they were talking about. You can really see Mount Rushmore through this. And it just, it's about to come up. Just as I come out of the tunnel, you'll be able to see it. it should start coming in focus right about now. Boom! Mount Rushmore right there. That's amazing. If I had known, I would have stopped before the tunnel and taken some pictures. But there was no turnout on the other side of the tunnel, so we're just going to have to head on down. But at least I got it kind of sort of on video. Um, when it changes for the light, because of the darkness from the, the camera, I guess, it's kind of, it has a hard time focusing. So that's unfortunate. I wonder if they have any more luck with GoPro. That's my next purchase for a camera. I'm gonna, I'll buy a GoPro before I buy another phone. I can tell you that right now. Oh, here comes the pigtail. Wow. This is so cool. This is kind of like, I don't know what they call that for the trains. The Pigtail Bridges. In 1939, Cecil Slide, or Clyde, I'm sorry, Clyde Gideon forged ahead with the design of the Pigtail Bridges when many felt it could not be done. Cece has, he was called, was a pioneer in the Black Hills, making his mark as a master builder, architect, craftsman, lawman, and highway designer. Riding horseback from his home at the game, 
riding his ho- horseback from his home at the game lodge, Gideon and Senator Norbick spent long hours laying out the Iron Mountain Road, the tunnels that frame Mount Rushmore and these bridges. Norbeck wanted a rustic look, but the elevation drop presented complex engineering problems. These bridge surfaces are neither straight, level, nor flat, and rustic log work has great variations in quality. Logs were selected from nearby, cut to fit, seasoned, then put in place. With the completion of the bridges, more scenic beauty of the Black Hills became available for all people to enjoy. C.C. Gideon turned vision into reality. Erected in 1991 by the Gideon family, the South Dakota State Historical Society, and the South Dakota Department of Transportation. They're talking about the the, the sign that they built or put up right here. That is so cool. All right, here we go. Let's go down to Pigtail Bridge. This is so interesting. Oh my gosh. That is just too cool. They, the mastery of this. Oh my gosh. So cool. It was so neat. Oh my God. I have never <laughs> driven over a bridge just quite like that. That was so cool. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and uh, I hope I don't talk too much. keep seeing these big campers coming through here and I'm wondering, are they going to fit through those tunnels? Road closed. Now we can't go down that one. So many motorcycles. Oh, wow. Another one. Here we go. So cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Grizzly Picnic Campground, Black Hills Natural Forest. Leaving Black Hills National Forests. Mount Rushmore National Memorial. The 
think we're getting close, guys. Hope you guys are getting inside it because I know I am. That's pretty much the end of the Iron Mountain Road. And I think that's, I think I should end the video here. If, actually, I'm going to leave it running. If you guys want to stop watching the video at this time, then um, that's okay by, by me. And uh, if you want to continue watching until I pull up to Mount Rushmore, then you're welcome to continue watching the video. Okay. Those look like so much fun. You see them running everywhere through Custer and every town. They're, I guess they're. it's legal here in South Dakota. They just run those things everywhere. Well, here we go. I'm headed up to Mount Rushmore. There's Mount Rushmore. All right, guys, I'm going to pull off so I can take a couple photos. Pretty cool, guys. Got my pictures. All right, let's head on up. Mount Rushmore National Memorial, use right lane. Okay. I guess we're entering the memorial. So exciting. Woohoo, America. Oh, I can see the Badlands from here. $10 parking. It is what it is. No matter which lane? Okay, thank you.
Okay. All right, thank you. Pull forward to open gate. Okay, well. All right, there we go. I was getting concerned. They didn't make, quite make everything clear. So. Well, guys, I guess we've arrived, so I'll cut the, the video here.